All right, I've got package one of, I think two. Should be another package coming on UPS, so we'll do that when it gets here. A little bit different video for today. It's going to be an airsoft unboxing because I ordered some airsoft. For the pistol, I went with the Taurus PT24-7. I intend to get the Tokyo Marui or the uh, Wii version of the G18C eventually. I'm just kind of deciding where I'm going to get it from because of the fact that I have to order it from Hong Kong and I don't want to deal with customs. So I'm waiting to see where exactly I'm going to get that from. But I picked this guy for now because one, it's a really reliable gun. It is a replica of the actual Taurus, and because it's cheap as shit for a reliable gun, I'm all about cheap and reliable because if it breaks on me, then I'm out 30 bucks. Don't really care. It's the Taurus PT24-7. It has a CO2 magazine. I think this is 17 rounds. But anyway, really reliable pistol, no blowback, no nothing, no real hard moving parts. So it's just gonna work. I'm gonna be going sniper. So I really don't want anything that's rattly or loud, a lot of moving parts, because when I do pull this out, I want it to work because the only time I'm gonna actually be using this is if somebody sneaks up on me or gets too close and I need to have a reliable backup to take them out. Cause you're obviously not gonna be doing close range with a sniper rifle. So. This will be my sidearm. Hopefully, I think it's going to be like September 25th or maybe even October 1st. We have our first airsoft matches up north of here in Parker, just south of Denver. So I'll be going to those. Otherwise, we're going to be playing, I think, at Dragon Man's east of here. He has a paintball, like five paintball fields. We're going to probably take one over and do an airsoft war. So just getting prepped for that. I've got all my pads, my carry vest, and all that stuff. I still need to kind of paint some things. I may paint this in gold or camo. I haven't decided yet. I like the gold because it's funny. But, so yeah, that's box one. Now we're just waiting on UPS to show up with the rest of my stuff. Sniper rifle, magazines, speed loader. I forget what else, but whole bunch of neat shit so we'll do that when it gets here while i wait for ups to get here i'm gonna see if i'm still banned on gta online fuck still banned that's all right got a 30-day ban for my fifth ban i want to say i don't remember All right. As usual, UPS waited until seven o'clock to deliver my package. That's fine. So uh, let's see what we got. Oh. So I got my scope. It's a basic three by nine by something. Blah blah blah. So, like some uh, tips and tricks. Airsoft 101, guys. So you can, I don't know. Um, spare mags. Oh, those are really funny. Spare mag. Oh, I did. I got four spare mags. I don't remember that. I guess I did. Five bucks a piece. Ah, that's why. Alright, and then. gun. So just bust it open. Never shoot anybody in the eyeball. Fuck that. What if I want to? Oh wow, that thing's really heavy. From what I see online, there's like a uh, cinder block or a brick in the 
in the butt stock, so I'm probably going to be taking that out. But I like that they took off all the silly holograms at least with a mag. It's kind of tight. Alright. Speed loader, some tools, and a uh, butt plug. I don't know. For the tight wads. Anyway, so what we have here is more light. That's not any better. Whatever. This is a VSR10 clone. Probably about four or five different companies make them, but this one was the cheapest I could find because I'm probably going to be upgrading everything anyway, so I don't really care. Technically, just buying the stock because everything's going to get upgraded. I went with the short barrel. Everything I've also read online was saying that in airsoft, you're not reaching a high enough velocity and rifling and all that other bullshit to actually get any extra range or accuracy off of the longer barrel. And I've, I've dealt with CQB a lot in paintball and a shorter barrel and shorter lift up was always in my best interest. So I went with the short barrel. That way I don't get it caught up in limbs and shit like that. So let's get this scope on. I'm obviously gonna be painting it. I have not completely decided on what style of camo I'm gonna go with yet, but I've got kind of a good idea. I've already got the paint. I just need to figure out the layering. It's kind of gonna be a ASAT, um, ASAT fusion kind of mix. So we'll see. There's my risers. I went with more of a traditional old style scope as well. I'm not too big on um, elaborate scopes. I know how to use a scope, but I also know that the bigger they get, the more extra shit they have does not necessarily always mean that they're better. Obviously, because people have been taking people out with you know, iron sight. So when it comes to a scope, just whatever works for you is what you should get. Let's get these on here. There we go. Good enough for me. Sorry if the lighting sucks in here. I literally just have a white screen open on my monitor. Um, so hopefully you can see. I might have to bump up the white balance in Final Cut or whatever's. Yep, take some shots. All right, so I've got everything set up. I'm gonna adjust the hop up a little bit towards me, not too much, probably right in the middle, just to get a baseline. And then I should be able to go full advance one way or the other, but I'm gonna be taking some shots at these sunflowers over here. So I'll set the camera up where you can see Definitely hitting the pole next to the sunflower. Is that what you're aiming for? No. The sunflower right in front of the pipe there. Yeah. Saw that. That's so close. That's splitting him on the pole. There we go. So one click to the right. Yep. Literally one mil. One mil. On Let one mil left is what it's range. hitting. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna paint this guy up, probably be another video separately, and then I will do a video of my complete loadout. 
I need to take my mags and my pistol mags to the Army Navy store so that I can get some magazine holders and a pistol holster. And then once I have everything set up and painted, etc., I'll do a video on my complete loadout and how I'm gonna be running. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like if you liked, subscribe if you want. And as always, keep on modding.